All right, guys, welcome to today's issue. We are here at the Antique Center. Lots happening today. Um, we are here for the first time with full staff at the new the new auction gallery. So we're gonna walk through some stuff here with you. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just take you along today and see where we get to. Yeah. Hillary's sitting here for the first time yes. in our new space. Yes. What are you yes. thinking? Woo. It's, it's great. It's different, right? Yeah, it's different. You gotta get used to it, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, but cool. it's, yep. Got a good setup. It's got a good setup. All right. Uh, Joe's been here. What time did you get here today, Joe? Six. At six? Joe was here at six. Got a long way. Joe's What about MVP. you? Joe's the MVP this week. <laughs> you just got here a little bit ago. We got the phones in. Are they working? I've been here for a while. Are the phones working? I think. We're getting closer. Getting we're closer? Getting closer. Also. Yeah, okay. Must they must be working. Mm -hmm. if, well, if somebody called, that means they're working. That's yeah, good. Yeah. It's the right phone number, right? Somebody <laughs> called just as soon as, as, soon yeah. as they got home. <laughs> yeah. so, yep. All right. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Here's some stuff that has been sold on whatnot, getting wrapped and packed. These guys are all working hard back here, but this is our new staging area for wrapping and packing all of the stuff for UPS and it's getting in use today. <laughs> and there's a whole whole bunch of stuff here. And Janet's Janet's been working hard at it. And these are all getting ready to go out too. There's a big old pile from the weekend. Okay, 1969 Archie's lunchbox with thermos, $169. That's a fun grouping. Sold. Sold. Box fine candies, $129 was the sticker price on this one. Pretty cool rack. That was a good buy on two haul vases. They're $19 and $18. Uh, yeah, pretty cool cool deal there. And then a little Victorian uh, iron stand here is $23 sold. Three uh, comics sold, $8, $21, and $4. It's really interesting. So today um, we got our full staff here at the auction, and I'm here at the Heart too. So I'm kind of doing both jobs at once now. It's kind of fun. And they got me on the walkie talkie, so uh, we can't, they don't ever know where I'm at with my cell phone. It doesn't work in the building today. I put a walkie talkie on my hip so they could all page me. So now I'm going from uh, page up front to page in the back. I might get a lot of exercise here. Grandma, Grandma just came in and brought all this food and said, Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I got you a bunch of food for our Happy new adventure, Valentine's right? Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yep, for our new business, getting everybody's here at the same time. So just hope we have a blessed um, auction house. And we portray Jesus' love through everybody else. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Mimo. Well, here, here's what we got going on. Jimmy and Jimmy and Josh just got back inside. I'm going to show you what they were just doing. Here, I need video. We, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy down there had to cut that steak out of the concrete. Jimmy had to go down the old school way. Wow. How long did that take you? Well, an hour, hour and a half for the first one. How many of them did you have to do? Just the one. Just the one? Oh, man, that's crazy. What do you got going on here? What do you got? What do you got? I'm telling you, we got two more checks here. We got the two, fire extinguishers two more checks. on, and we should be ADA compliant. ADA compliant, fire extinguishers. So uh, the last thing I got to do is lighting. Get the lighting That's and another, get operational. That's going to be solar, right? Your lighting you're putting yeah, out there? Yeah, we're going to do solar out there. Solar out there. That's cool. So we're down to lighting and then permit, operational yeah, permit, operational right? Operational permit. For the second That's option, cool. The and then look, it? here, burner's auction, done. Yep, that one's a big operational. Mark. Put the old look here. <laughs> Curious <And> crossing. <laughs> this one. Uh -uh. Oh, Josh been getting it done. Uh -uh. <laughs> Hold on, the Jeff bigger Mark. parts. This. Oh, this is so funny. March first, March first, March first. So far, what are you three gonna, out of four. What are you going to do? The deadline. You going to take a vacation the last week of March or what? <laughs> I got four boxes to fill. <laughs> hey, you know how this right here though says lighting, and he said he's going to do solar. Yeah. You know what his first idea was? What? Well, the spike power. I'm going to be on there on a treadmill. <laughs> yeah, that was his first idea. Uh -huh. so just get a treadmill or a bike and just run and generate that. The sun <laughs> comes up every day. That's solar lighting. It's yeah. solar lighting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have the entire whatnot auction from Saturday it is going out today. Um, it's done. It's completed. All the packing is done, and it's going to be out the door. So you guys should be getting it in the next couple of days. This was from that big sale we did on Saturday, and then uh, we're going to get Monday's sale done. Uh, next, uh, the guys are getting back, getting ready to start wrapping it up. Oh, well, here's a cool lunchbox, Davy Crockett, one hundred twenty-nine dollars, nineteen fifty-five, with a bear on there. Interesting lunchbox there. And check out the Ohio license plate, sold for five hundred dollars. Uh, nineteen eleven enamel Ohio license plate, five hundred dollars. 
This right here is a $20 bear that just sold. Such a kitschy piece. Pretty cool. Okay. Guys, we just finished up with today's whatnot, and uh, so here we go. That's all sold. And then this pile right here is all sold. So we appreciate everybody that was participating in that. Uh, we'll get it, we'll get it uh, put together in the shipping department. We're gonna take it back there right now. And Janet is just turning the lights off for the show. Awesome job, great job, Janet. And then Herb's sitting here giving us a hard time again. He says he's still amazed about all this stuff, right? I can't get over it. <laughs> I'm from the old school. Yep. I gotta have it up here. Herb, if you guys don't, if you guys don't know, Herb's our oldest dealer here at the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. Ninety-two years old. Yeah. Ninety-two. Yeah, I'm the oldest weightlifter in Ohio. Oldest weightlifter and in I Ohio. And I got thirteen <laughs> records on book. That's right. That's right. They can't break them. They can't break them. Appreciate it, Herb. Okay, guys. So uh, Valentine's Day. This is today. Uh, we've had a long day at the auction and I am just getting my Valentine's gift picked up and I'm actually headed home. Uh, it's a little bit later than I wanted to be, but uh, it was pretty cool uh, what, I'm, what I've got. Silka, so she likes a Korean restaurant called Cup Bop down here in Beaver Creek. Um, maybe, it's, maybe it's a little south, farther south than Beaver Creek, but it's about a 40 minute drive from the house. So I I got out of the auction uh, a little bit early. I drove down here and now I'm on my way back to the house with a Korean meal for her. And I got her a nice rose um, and it was gonna, it was gonna kind of be fun. So a couple of other little things that uh, we're not gonna talk about, but um, I figured, you know, I've got some time. I didn't get a lot filmed today and I've had a lot of questions about my day and what I do at the auction. So I thought, let's just talk for a bit while I'm driving. Um, I'm safe. The camera's on. It's on a stabilizer and everything, so I don't have to even look at it. So you don't have to worry about that part. But someone asked, hey, Jacob, what's your daily life look like? We always see you behind the camera, but uh, what do you actually do? So I thought, let's, let's talk through that for a second. I'll kind of share with you guys a little bit of my daily life. So usually I am up early. I usually get up anywhere from four to seven. I never set an alarm clock, but I'm always up. I don't know why, um, I just wake up. I can't sleep the best sometimes. Uh, I used to sleep longer, but the older I get, the less I sleep, which is probably normal. But now I'm about five to six hours a night. Um, and usually I'll fall asleep sometime between 11 and 12 and I'll get up in that five to six. When I get up, start off the morning, I gotta get my coffee in. I love a cup of coffee. I do a little bit of uh, scripture reading. Uh, I try to every day, read a proverb a day plus something else. A um, little quiet time. Uh, and then after that, uh, usually so will come downstairs. We'll have some coffee together. Uh, about eight o'clock, uh, Jimmy and Jason, uh, I'm sorry, Jimmy and Josh show up. And like the video we shared yesterday or two days ago now, uh, we sit around and we talk, we kind of work through our day, what's been going on, uh, catch up on each other's lives and uh, just just kind of chat, have fun overall. Um, and, and we try and plan the day for the antique center or what's going on, um, just kind of get the day going. After that, uh, most of the time, I go directly to the auction house and I sort items. And so we sell uh, around 1,500 items a week at auction in which I pre-sort all of those. So uh, my job with our auction company is to make sure we always have the, the items coming in the door, making sure there's always enough quantity. Um, my wife this morning says, you you know, you've, you've perfected your job. We have too much stuff. You gotta quit buying so much. So I've gotten pretty good at it. I've got a network of people I work with set up uh, all over Ohio, South Florida, not all over Ohio, but Springfield, Dayton, Columbus area. And then South Florida from uh, West Palm all the way down to Miami. I just have networks I've got people that I work with that deal in these states. And so uh, just this evening, for instance, uh, on my way to Dayton, I had two of those folks call me. Um, both are sending boxes of jewelry up to me. One sending a box of really good gold jewelry up and one sending a box of silver jewelry up. Uh, and you know, we've, we've, we've dealt with each other so long, uh, you know, prices, we, we know what each other pay. Uh, they know what I want, what kind of prices I'll pay for it. Um, and I'm pretty competitive when we're buying and I, and I sell wholesale. So I work on a small margin. So in the mornings, a lot of times that's what I'm doing. I'm sorting for, so from that nine, nine o'clock till anywhere from 1030 to 11, I'll, most mornings I'm sorting out, uh, items for the auction to make sure we always have plenty coming in. 
After I'm done sorting, I'll usually, uh, well, be, now we're actually at the heart of a highway antique center. So the last couple of days have been really nice. I've been able to walk up front, uh, you know, talk to management, uh, what's going on, check in with our staff or employees. Uh, a lot of times we'll have walk-ins that come through the antique, antique center with stuff to sell. I'll try and look through some of those. I'll try and get some phone calls returned with people that are wanting to sell us stuff, uh, answering questions, things like that. Uh, making sure there's that everything's in order with the antique center um, and then I'm usually back to the auction again and then sorting some more stuff answering questions uh, of what what uh, our staff you know Josiah or Silka Lucas they're asking me hey what do we call this or what do you want me to do with this and so I'm again just sharing that information and usually by about that time uh, we'll grab some quick sandwich for lunch or something and we have a whatnot sale or some kind of a pop-up sale most days now uh, in that two o'clock or four o'clock range and so I'll work through that, and the whole time I'm videoing um, as well. So videotaping little bits and pieces as I go throughout the day. Um, any given day, we could have any any item walk through our doors, uh, from gold coins to silver to to uh, you know uh, uh, Hot Wheels. You just you just never really know. Uh, we bought period lighting. We we, we buy anything and everything. Um, I try to always buy something when someone brings something to me. As far as walking through the doors. Uh, I never want someone to leave empty-handed, but every once in a while we just can't work a deal out or it's just not the quality that I'm looking for, so we will pass those items. Um, usually then I'm, I'm starting a whatnot sale up or some kind of a, an auction uh, starting around 2 or 4 o'clock. That's usually about a two-hour ordeal, so we get that done by uh, either 4, 5, or 6, depending on what time it started. And once that's done, um, most of the time I'll get those items then put back on the shelves for shipping so they're lined back up and, and uh, ready to go out for shipping and then usually we'll have a call that we'll run on um, that we've set up during the day uh, or earlier in the week and I'll and I'll go to a house and take a look at some stuff um, and then often after that I mean and, and, and every day is always like a it's, it's not an exact science of what I do every day it's kind of like we, we know what we need to get done by the end of the day and how we arrive at the end is different every single day um, but often I'll run a call in the evening and then like, uh, you know, last night uh, I was there for a couple hours uh, just, just filming and talking and, uh, you know, uh, you know, working with the guys that had some stuff they wanted us to sell for them. Uh, and, th and those are awesome times. Um, and then depending on the day of the week, uh, something, you know, that's by 6, 7, 8 o'clock range. Uh, sometimes we'll just go home, hang out with the Silco for an hour or two. <coughs> Let me have a glass of wine and chill out for the evening. Uh, I don't really watch much TV. Don't have time to. Uh, that's like a normal Monday through uh, Wednesday work day. Uh, Thursday morning is a little bit different because we we have an auction. So Thursday, I literally I get up, uh, same kind of routine before nine o'clock, but then from nine o'clock until about seven o'clock in the evening, I sit at a computer and just uh, run an auction. I'm, I'm uh, bidding on the computer live on our Invaluable app. So if you go to our burners.com website, B-E-R-N-E-R-S.com, you'll find our catalogs there. Those two catalogs, uh, we're, we're doing two, um, two a week again. We're starting back up in a week with two a week. Uh, Monday has 500 lots. Thursday has 1,000 lots. That 1,000 lot auction that we do, uh, literally I set at the computer and, and bid on 95% of it You know, with the mouse. Like I'm running the auction. Um, so I'm controlling the bidding and the, 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 the pace, um, things of that nature uh, through the entire auction. And those auctions usually last between uh, yeah, seven and nine hours, depending on the crowd. Um, when they're over, uh, most of the time, Thursday nights, I don't like to go anywhere and buy anything. It's just kind of a, shoot, we got through that, now let's chill out. Um, Every once in a while, we'll we'll have a Florida trip booked or an out-of-state trip booked. That I'll leave Thursday after the auction's over, and I'll drive a few hours uh, until I start feeling tired. Then I'll get a hotel, and then next morning take off driving. Um, you know, wherever I'm headed. If I'm headed to South Florida, I'll drive down there the next morning, um, and then I'll start uh, buying antiques usually that night. Uh, the whole next day, loading, buying, and loading, and then drive back the following day. So that's a Thursday. I mean, again, every day, every week's a little bit different, but those are the kinds of things that I do throughout the day. Um, I do a lot of sorting of jewelry, uh, like every week. Uh, I sort a lot of gold and silver, and I, and, and I get guys in South Florida that send me a lot of jewelry to sell for them. 
um, you know, Sterling groups and stuff. I buy it from them actually, and I sell it. But we 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 do. I have to sort a lot of that stuff out. Um, so I get a box of jewelry, and it'll just be you know, uh, you know, 40 ounces of mixed Sterling jewelry. So I've got to take the rings and pull them apart from the necklaces, uh, and then and then tell the tell the uh, catalogers, which are Joe and Luke and Silka, which ones I want to put in which trays. Um, so I'm doing a lot of that kind of stuff too. Um, looking up, researching a little bit of artists every once in a while, uh, some things like that. So uh, my wife's calling me now, wondering where I'm at. It's Valentine's. I'm almost back. I got about another 10 minute drive, but uh, she's calling. So that's a little bit of an insight to what I do. Um, some days, other days are busier. Uh, some days are less busy, but uh, that's that's pretty much what's been happening right now. Um, with running the antique center, throwing that on top of our auction gallery has been pretty exciting for me. Challenging, but exciting. I like to grow things. I like to make things better. Um, so we've been working a lot with, obviously, with our whatnot sales, our online presence, the YouTube, um, a lot of strategic planning, of strategic thinking. Those meetings happen two or three days a week uh, with different groups, depending on which group we're referring to, whether it's the Heart of Ohio or Burners or if it's a nonprofit that, that we run. Uh, you know, I'm just working with all those different groups running through uh, big picture stuff. Um, and then Josh and I, we communicate a lot. Uh, usually uh, more than one time a week, we're sitting down for an hour and just, just working through our schedule. Um, you know, what kind of things that we're working through, big picture items, uh, planning events coming up, uh, making sure him and I are on the same page uh, with everything that we're doing. So that's uh, that's it in a nutshell. Friday's a little bit different. On Fridays, uh, I get up a little bit later. Uh, we, we just had that Thursday auction. So Friday morning, I'll, I'll usually try and sleep in. I might sleep in until 7.30, uh, somewhere in there, get up, have some coffee. Um, and then uh, sometimes I'll drive out to the antique center, uh, but often I'll just hang around uh, my house until we go to Bible study. And then we do a Bible study from 11 to 1230 every Friday. Uh, I love that time. I, I really try and protect that time. Uh, don't plan anything for Friday mornings. It's my, 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 uh, my day that I get to really just relax and focus in on uh, reading, reading some scripture and stuff. So um, after Bible study, I'll go back out to the antique center. Friday's usually a shorter day for me. I'll be uh, I'll usually work from around 2, 1.30, 2 o'clock at the Antique Center until roughly closing. And then we always try and go out and eat Friday night. Uh, Silk and I hang out Friday night and chill out. Um, and all of that stuff is always up to change. Uh, in our business, you just never know when you're going to get another call or something you have to respond to immediately. Um, you know, we're, we're blessed enough to have uh, almost 50 employees or right at 50 employees working for us and the, and the businesses that we own. And so, uh, you know, you, you, we got to stay on top of what we're doing. Um, and yeah, so I had that question asked and I thought, what a great opportunity to share that with you guys. Um, and then hanging out with the family, uh, you know, is always a priority. Sunday night, we try and do game night with our kids, uh, with, with uh, our, my whole family, like Silka, Silka and I and our kids. Uh, all hang out. We, we try and do games or eat dinner uh, and, and play games every Sunday night. Um, and then I'm looking forward to Rose being born. Like, I can't wait. Uh, when she's born, all of that's going out the window. Whatever we're doing, we're stopping. Uh, outside of if I'm in the middle of an auction, I can't pause the auction if it's our, our invaluable auction. So I'm hoping that she is not born on a Thursday. So uh, if this is interesting, then great. If it's not interesting, uh, I do apologize. It's a little bit different ending to today's video. I got a little bit of vintage shot up video shot in the beginning of the day today then we had a whatnot sale and then like i said i just uh i wanted to run down and grab this uh, korean food for silica and it was a pretty good drive um so i left out of the work before she did so i could get this done uh, i thought about making her dinner tonight but i changed my mind and, and i know that she loves she loves cup bop and that's what we're doing so uh thanks guys for watching again if you haven't subscribed to our channels you'd like to at burner brother antiques uh, in ha at heart of ohio antiques uh, one other little thing to answer. I had someone ask me, uh, they say, please introduce yourselves again and again because you have lots of new subscribers. We want to hear more backstory. So uh, if you don't know who I am, again, my name is Jacob. Uh, I am uh, uh, owner and operator of Burner's Auction Gallery with my wife, Silka. And then we own and operate the Heart of Ohio Antique Center uh, with my brother, Josh, uh, and my cousin, Mike. Uh, Josh, Mike, and I all three had bought the Antique Center. It's America's biggest uh, antique center. Uh, we just added on a lot of square footage. Um, so I'm, we got to get a new square footage total. It's going to be 150, 160,000 square foot of buildings and complex stuff for sale. Uh, and that's kind of who we are. I've done this my entire life. It's all I've ever done is bought and sold antiques uh, for a living. 
Uh, I love it. Uh, it's a grind, but it's a, it's also a blessing at the same time. Uh, we work really hard. We have a big family. We try to have a lot of fun uh, and be an encouraging uh, light wherever we go. So that's kind of a backstory of who I am again. Uh, for those that would ask about it, I always try to answer the questions on the video uh, that I can't just send a text to. So blessings again. Thanks for asking. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.